Hi, this is Jay. Welcome to Bright Ideas. Here are the examples of theories of learning. Information acquisition. Knowledge construction. Semantic networks. And dual coding. The first one is information acquisition. It is popularized by Herman Ebbinghaus. Let us use the following nonsense syllabus to understand this theory. This is an experiment used by Herman to define what serial learning and savings in learning are. First is, he made a list of nonsense syllables consists of three letters with a vowel in between. Second, he read the words over and over again until he memorized everything in order. Doing so is what we refer as serial learning. And third, he tried to determine the number of times it took for him to relearn the list which is referred as savings in relearning. But how is it done? The difference between the number of times it took for him to learn the list initially, and the number of times it took for him to relearn the list, is the savings in relearning. The second one, is the knowledge construction. This is popularized by Frederick Bartlett. He claimed that the learning becomes meaningful, if it is assimilated to the existing schemata. According to him, our perception, understanding and memory influences our mental construction. For instance, when we learn about basic arithmetic, we do not only learn its concept but also its practical use in everyday living. Students who are taught on how to deliver a persuasive speech to a group of audience, may be asked to suggest important points about audience-centered content in writing a journal. You can use critical thinking activities to allow your students maximize the coverage of their learning. The third one is semantic networks. It is proposed by Alan Collins and Ross Quillian. In this network, the knowledge is organized according to its meaning. Consider the example below to better understand this. When we hear the word school, it activates different concepts such as teachers, classroom, principal, playground, or library. Since these ideas are organized together, it becomes easier to recognize and retrieve information. The fourth one is dual coding. This is proposed by Alan Erho Pavio. There are two systems to consider here. We have the visual and verbal information. These two always come together. When the word school is learned, the right semantic word should be given. This refers to verbal association. And if you want to further understand what school is, you have to use mental images. This refers to visual imagery. Verbal entities refer to logogens, while image entities refer to images. Also analog codes are tasked to present us mental images when we perceive an environmental stimulus like the school. Once we see it, the mental image that our minds could create is highly similar to what we saw. On the other hand, symbolic codes are used for mental representations such as words and combination of words.